Hi, this is Kevin Kraut. I'm Ogden Kraut's son. I'm going to tell a little addendum or a little bit of a, a background kind of story. I told the story about Ezra Taft Benson and how he was with Stan Molstrom and Stan Molstrom had um, gone up to work on his back. He's a uh, chiropractor slash massage therapist. And so anyway, we're talking and um, as we were finished with that conversation and I told about Ezra Taft Benson, um, pointing down and saying, you know, that he was more afraid of those men in that building than anybody in Washington, D.C. I told that story to a lady that was in Idaho, and um, and she says, Kevin, do you know who I am? And I said, well, no, you're just on my dad's list. And she said, well, do you know anybody, anything about me or my name or any of that? And I said, well, no, not really. I don't know anything about you, really. And she said, oh good, because my brother is one of the 12 apostles. And I guess this is about 10 years ago. And she said, um, and I want you to know uh, a little bit about some of that story that you just told me. She said, that's a very accurate story. There's things that had happened. My own brother came out um, after conference and he put his arm around me and he said, sis, because he knew that you know, she said that she was a fundamentalist or had fundamentalist leanings. And so she, he said, Sis, if you know anyone who has priesthood, please, please pray for us, the few that are here in the church still, trying to do the right thing because we have been so infiltrated by the dark side. And I mean, I had this passionate moment there. I felt pretty bad. I don't know how it would be to be somebody in the church who's in a high authority or position and knowing that uh, there's a lot of darkness lurking around. Uh, I guess that's what happened with Joseph too, you know, and it, it has for, for all generations of time. And we know that in the Book of Mormon it says that the Gadiantans are in all people in all places and infiltrated all through. But it was interesting that she had noted that and um, she wanted me to know that there was a very little priesthood that they felt was still in the church. And that could be one of two reasons, either unworthiness or it could be because um, there was a certain period of time that they were blessing people or trying to give them priesthood and they were just ordaining them to an office. They weren't actually ordaining them with priesthood. And so that, that could have been part of that, that program as well. Thank you.